Hello Taurus! Welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is Mary from Mary Starrett Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your signs, so please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Taurus. What do we have for you? What do we have for Taurus? So Taurus, we are connecting in this reading for you with someone, okay, who is very passionate about this connection, about you. Uh, this person is very attracted to you. They found you incredibly beautiful, handsome. Please take it how it resonates. I feel this person is fantasizing about you and this connection. They're desiring you. Um, the chemistry can be quite intense between the two of you, okay? But uh, they are very, very attracted to you. On your side, Taurus, we have communication and manifest. You're essentially manifesting a communication with this person. So if there is no contact situation between the two of you, be, re be reassured based on those two cards. Uh, so far, based on this reading, that they will reach out. This person might text you, might call you. Uh, if they blocked you, for some of you, they will unblock you, okay? But they will reach out. We have this telephone here, uh, communication. So communication is coming, you're manifesting it. Um, you are very powerful at the moment, Taurus. Very. Mutual energy, we have a life partner. This is like a higher level of commitment. I feel that both of you want a stable connection or you want to bring more stability to the situation. I'm getting here that, Taurus, for some of you, even if you are in touch with this person, you would like this person to make more effort and to reach out to you or to be in a, like a, you know, uh, in, a, in, a, in, in touch with you more, okay? But um, you are manifesting this communication, important conversation, and uh, it feels like both of you want a stable connection or want to bring more stability to the situation. I feel that you share a very strong connection with each other because that life partner, it's, it, you, it might feel like, you know, that uh, both of you might feel like um, this is like a kind of a soulmate here energy between the two of you. Overall energy, we have fear. Someone here is, is anxious about this connection. It's anxious that the other party might have commitment issues or there is like a commitment and anxiety attached to this whole situation. Or it's like, I feel that, I feel that as it is overall energy, actually, Taurus, I feel that both of you, um, might be might have concerns if 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 you know both of you take this connection seriously it's like i feel this person is unsure if you if you want a relationship with them and it might be the same kind of uh you might be ha having the same feeling here taurus essentially this fear is like I'm getting that both of the parties might be feel, might be wondering if if both of you want the same thing. There is a need for clarity here, but you are manifesting this, Taurus. So this is nice. Let's see. Could you please show me more about this person? Could you please show me this person's feelings and energy towards Taurus and this connection, please? Okay. So we're starting with the tower okay show me this person's energy and feelings towards taurus and this connection all right okay so we have the tower the queen of pentacles we have the lovers the seven of wands um 
the world, we have a ten of wands, we have a three of cups, the emperor, and the knight of wands. Okay, so Taurus, you might be dealing with Aries, we have Scorpio, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, another Taurus, a Leo, so far in this reading for you. You see, this is someone here who is uh, having a wake-up call. It's like they are realizing that they want a serious relationship with you, Taurus, because that Queen of Pentacles with the lovers, it's like more stability. And with the lovers, this person wants to be with you. They are very protected over this connection. I feel this person just came into sudden realization with the tower. It's like they are having their own tower moment. For some of you, this is someone who felt that love from the very first sight. Because when we have the tower and the lovers, it's like a Cupid's arrow kind of situation, you know. But that Queen of Pentacles suggests here, Taurus, that this person sees you as, as someone who brings a lot to the table, who has so much to offer. It's like this person feels like, I will never find anyone who uh... it's like this person feels that both of you match to each other because we have this lovers and lovers is this beautiful energy of, 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 of soulmate. This person sees you as their soulmate. And with the tower, they having their tower moment because tower brings change, unexpected change. For some of you, this person's always been single. For some of you, this person was a little bit like a player with the Knight of Wands. You know, they, they didn't take, take seriously uh, connections. This is someone who was indeed very, very non-committal. And the thing is that you might be dealing with divine masculine Taurus or you are divine masculine, please take it how it resonates. The thing is that this person always, always had, uh, it's like, we, Emperor is that divine masculine energy and this is all about stability. So you didn't hear with someone Taurus who, um, it's like this person always have a lot to offer, but they but they, they, they've been choosing, um, they've been choosing to be in that Knight of Wands energy on purpose, being non-committal, in and out, not taking seriously certain things. And with the Three of Cups, it feels like this person for a long time just wanted to party. Or again, with Three of Cups, it's like, you know, enjoying times. But they always been this emperor, which means this divine masculine energy so that energy has a lot to offer this is divine again masculine i know i am repeating myself but i really kind of trying to explain myself so you have someone here who purposely was choosing to acting for a very long time in a certain way as like uh you know maybe a little bit of a player maybe a little bit in and out hot and cold just enjoying themselves but that was a choice and now it feels like this person wants to settle down with you Taurus with the world and the six of swords there might be a distance physical distance between the two of you and with the ten of wands it's bothering this person okay this is uh, someone who feels that that distance um, can be an issue and it's like heavily weighting, weighting on their shoulders this is someone who feels that it can affect this connection in the long term they are very protected over this, 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 this connection with you Taurus this person essentially wants to settle down they no longer want to be in this energy Knight of Wands and Three of Cups just parting or not taking things seriously they want to have a stable relationship that's what they want and it's like with the tower it's their tower moment they are coming because tower brings that enlightenment 
something suddenly makes sense. And this is how they feel about this connection. It makes sense for them, for both of you to be together. But there might be a distance for some of you. Physical distance between the two of you. Show me um, Taurus's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection, please. You see, gosh, you're manifesting. Look, you have the magician and you have manifest here. Wow. It is important for you to maintain, or I should have said really, it is advisable for you, Taurus, to maintain a positive mindset because on what you are kind of focusing on or directed your, or, um, uh, if you are directed your energy on something, you're going to manifest this back to your life. So yeah, you're very powerful. Taurus, show me please Taurus's energy and feelings towards this person, this connection. Ace of Cups. Three of Swords. Two of Cups. Interesting. Okay. And the Fool. Nine of Swords. Mm. Is it more your energy, Taurus? Because that's essentially very similar energy. Double confirmation. I feel that you are stressing out here. Or it's like something here is playing on your mind and you are simply unsure about the future of this connection. Because, um, okay, so you might be dealing with Aquarius. I have very strong Aries, Virgo, Gemini. The magician here suggests that you are manifesting this communication. They will reach out and you will have a chance to kind of talk about many different areas uh, regarding this connection and in general. But with the nine of, here's the thing, we have a nine of wands, okay, and we have this three of swords. And in the middle, we have this ace of cups, that beautiful ace of cups. I feel that you are unsure and it's like you are very cautious about this person and in general about this connection. This person can feel it. I can tell you that. And it's like you need more clarity and reassurance from this person. Because nine of wands suggests that uh you have your guard up and it's like you don't want you, you don't want to experience some sort of heartbreak or breakup uh you don't want to have your heart broken essentially with the three of swords it's like with the nine of wands, it's like, I've been there, I've seen it, I've been put in, in a certain situation, I've learned my lesson, and I don't want to experience that disappointment as, I've dis as I experienced in the past. And that, that ace of cups, you might feel, well, it's very well, this person really kind of feels, it feels like, you know, they are interested, but is it enough? Are they coming here with the solid offer? Or is it just an offer of love, but it doesn't have like a practical cover, let's say it that way, right? Basis. I'm getting here that you just want reassurance. And we have two of cups with the full. I feel that, yeah, you, you want to be with this person, Taurus. You want to, you have feelings for them, feelings of love. You want a relationship with them. The full here suggests that indeed there might be some sort of travel involved in order for both of you to be closer together because this is also kind of traveling card. Can re full can represent like a traveling. But this is also a new beginning. You know, I feel that you truly want to have this new beginning in love with this person. But there is something here that is playing on your mind and this person really needs to reassure you that they want you. And in this case, it might be crucial to have this communication, conversation with this person. If that's the case and you want reassurance, you're manifesting it big time, Taurus. Big time. And this person has feelings for you. I can tell you that, based on this reading, of course. 
show me please the outcome show me the outcome so we have queen of swords Show me the outcome, please. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Divine counterpart energy. Oh my gosh. Queen of Swords with the King of Swords. Wow. Double confirmation. Yeah, I feel that you share very, very strong soul connection with each other really it might feel that this person is your twin flame on your soulmate so taurus you might be dealing with pisces i have very strong scorpio aquarius and gemini okay so this person is coming with the queen of swords and that king king of swords here they are those energies are facing each other it that particular energy represented by the queen of swords and the king of swords suggests taurus that um you you will be talking there will be a conversation between the two of you because this person is coming with this energy of Queen of Swords. They really want to express something and they are full of hope that you're going to listen to them. Or it's like they want, want you to hear them out. And they, it's like this person really is full of hope that uh, you are open for, you know, for, to have that conversation with them. And also there is something here about them being very... It's like this person made the decision. You see, here is the thing. We have the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups as a mutual energy. Um, something here will came to light. And with the Nine of Cups, it will make both of the parties, both of you really, really happy, Taurus. Really happy. Because this is like a dream come true. And I feel that's the thing. It's like as much as you need that reassurance, this person also needs to, it's like this person also would like to know if, if, you take, if you are taking this connection seriously. And that conversation will bring certain things into light because at the moment it might feel like something it's hidden, okay, with the high priestess. But it will make both of the parties really, really happy. Nine of Cups is this energy of fulfillment happiness and joy and it's like a wish come true so i feel that both of you kind of see each other as 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 each other's wish fulfillment as a wish come true essentially but something here will make both of you really really happy and then we have the moon the king of swords and the judgment and that's the final energy for your outcome and also energy that you are coming in. Yeah, there is a need for clarity. And with the King of Swords, I feel that you really want to talk with this person, with the judgment, because uh, there is a need. Because at the moment, again, you, with the Moon, you have doubts. You might be unsure there is a need for this person to reassure you that they want the same thing. And King of Swords brings that clarity. King of Swords is all about the clarity and judgment. It's, it's, you see, we have this third eye here. So I'm getting here that uh, this person is going to announce something to you. And again, it will make you feel really happy. There will be a conversation between the two of you that will bring so much light, that will uh, put so much light into that situation or on that situation you will gain your clarity here Taurus that's for sure and with the judgment you will make a certain decision what to do with this whole situation you know but uh, what the cards are showing here Taurus that you have someone who wants to settle down and they are in love with you. They want to settle down with you. But there is a need 
for them to express it, to tell you exactly how they feel about the future of this connection in order to reassure you of their true intentions. And you will get this, Taurus, because judgment is also this communication that is coming in. So it's like a double confirmation for you that communication that you are trying to manifest will take place. It will happen. King of Pentacles as an overall energy suggests that more stability is coming to this situation and to this connection. So it feels like things will will get. Uh, it's like this this important communication will bring that reassurance that you might be uh, seeking. So stay positive, Taurus, because things looking really, really promising. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Taurus, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Mm. Till next time. Take care. Bye.